Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am surrounded by my absolute most favorite gaming series in the world. Do you know what it is? You're cheating. You're looking, don't look here. <laughs> also, do I have a uniform now? Maybe, maybe. I know this is the third, it's a sweatshirt this time. It's a sweatshirt this time, okay? We needed to gear up. I have my midnight pants on, right? I got my Triforce earrings on. We're gonna get into this now. You might be asking yourself, what, what, what are you, why is your entire Zelda collection sitting in front of you? Well, I am happy to tell you why. Actually, I'm not happy to tell you why. <laughs> this is now, this, this video is being made kind of out of necessity. Uh, it is kind of cool to show off my collection. I hate using the word collection. If you guys know me, I prefer saying library because I'm not collecting games. I've had them for my life. What? I've had them for a long time. The Zelda series is one of the only ones that I do collect a little because of the, you know, ports and whatnot of the games. And I believe I'm only missing two, but we will see today if I have all of them or not. We'll see. The reason I'm doing this though, other than that, is because I have been tested so many times as of recent and I just figured that it would be nice to have a reference video. So if somebody asks, do I have this game or do I have that game? I can just say, hey, watch this YouTube video. You'll see what I have. Cool. I'm gonna show these off in whatever order I feel like it. They're not by release date, not by nothing, nothing. But I will try to group the categories or the games together if they are on multiple systems, just to make it easier for my brain, okay? Should we get into this? Let's get into this. Are you excited? I'm not. Well, I am. I love these games, so it, it's quite funny to see them all in front of me, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, why don't we start at the top with my gold edition, which isn't that impressive because they basically all came in gold. This is difficult. I need an assistant. Ha <laughs> ha! I have shown these off many, 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 many times. I have had this since I was two maybe because it was my sister's originally this booklet got destroyed because of me because when i wasn't allowed to play i would look at the booklet so we have these two i'm gonna put everything away to keep it all nice next on that list of zelda one and two we have the rarer gray edition again i only have these as their carts unfortunately but i don't really care for me having the complete in box would be awesome but i don't need it i just want the games so i could play these again this would be part of the collection side whereas the gold ones i've had them for like my entire life so they, that those weren't collected one of these is collected one of these isn't this one i got because i wanted to have it portable and i love it this is my newest one if you watched my travel vlog video i got this at the portland retro gaming expo this was just to say i have it at this point because i don't really have an intention to play zelda 2 ever <laughs> a game is the devil moving on loose it's okay it's all right it's a link to the past happy to have it don't mind that it's loose don't care Going with that game, we have the Link to the Past Four Swords, including the booklet. I don't, I think I got these separately somehow. I don't know, I don't know how this happened, but here they are. We got those. Next, let's do these two. Minish Cap Complete in Box. It's got everything. I don't want to open it because I don't like opening these boxes unless I'm actually going to play the game. So wear and tear, you know, the cardboard's not the best thing in the world. But this went missing for years and a friend of mine gave me this one. So I actually have it twice. And because I have it twice, I don't really need to open this box anymore. So it's not gonna get damaged, which is good. Next we have Oracle of Seasons and Ages plus a bootleg one. Why do I have a bootleg one? Again, I don't know. This was just given to me. So I'm not gonna say no, right? Right. We're not saying no to stuff like this. Anything, just give me all the Zelda. Give, give me all the Zelda, okay? Here is where there's a hole in my collection. I have Link's Awakening DX, Link's Awakening Switch, but I'm missing the Game Boy Edition, just the Link's Awakening. So if I can find that, that would be awesome. Am I gonna cry over it? No, because again, that's not one I'm going to grab for. If I'm going to play old school, it's gonna be this version. So it would be nice to have, to say I have it, but I also don't like having things just to say I have it. You know, it's, it's, it's a thing, I don't know. Well, well, let's do the Switch games, because these are all on top. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. 
Everybody has these. These aren't these aren't impressive because they're Switch games. Now this, and I also have Hyrule Warriors, what is it called, the Definitive Edition? But that's a digital copy on the Switch. To continue with Skyward Sword, here we go. Skyward Sword, it's the Collector's Edition one. So it has music. The game is in the Wii U, I believe, right now. Or is it in the My Wii? I don't remember, but that's just why it's not in here. And it's the Collector's Edition. I have the box up there. I was not pulling down the boxes though because there is stuff on top of them. No, I have the gold controller and everything. It's very beautiful and I love it to pieces. Let's continue with the Wii. This I had to just get back from my sister, which I forgot that she had and she forgot that she had. Link's crossbow training. This is actually a lot of fun. Came with the gun. The gun is whatever, you don't need it to play it, but it's a lot of fun. I always love doing the shooting ranges in Twilight Princess. So this is really cool to have. I don't know how hard these are to find. I know you could only get it with the gun though. I didn't even want the gun, I wanted this. So we got it. Twilight Princess. Ta-da! The Twilight Princess Wii U one was the collector's one. So I have Midna and Wolf Link Amiibo. But here we go. So I got the Wii copy first when I got the Wii, when, when that came out. And then when I worked at GameStop, I picked this one up because I was like, I want both. Especially because they're flipped because this was the original version and then they flipped it because most people are right-handed. And then of course, the Wii U edition. I'm running out of space. Oh, I should show this first because I also have Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U. I have a lot more unlocked in this version than the Switch version, which I just realized. I'm fixing that because I just unlocked Midna and I'm very excited. Continuing on, next, Wind Waker. This arguably is my favorite Zelda. I think this I think this is the one that takes the cake. I think this is my favorite Zelda. It's hard to say that, but I love them all. But there's something about Wind Waker. I mean, come on. Look at him. How could you say no? I love it. I love Toon Link so, so much. The music in this game is so amazing. Oh, I should have showed this earlier with the other Four Swords. Four Swords Adventure. Yes, I have four cables in order for people to play with me. I just need people to play with me at this point. This is a fun game though. Look at that, look at their art. I love it so much. All right, we will move to this, which you could see right back there, which is the Game & Watch. My wonderful team, Deathflower, bought this for me for my birthday one year. I was very happy, I cried. I do use it more as a clock than a handheld though, but I love it, I don't care. It's the coolest fucking clock in the world. Let's do some, some DS games. We have A Link Between Worlds. Not my favorite. That's okay, we're not doing a, a Zelda game tier list. Would you like to see a Zelda game tier list? Let me know in the comments below because that is something I would be very interested in doing, especially if I did it on stream because I know we're gonna get a lot of opinions. Triforce Heroes, this game sucks. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it, do it, it kinda does. It, 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 again, you need friends. Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. I love these games. Spirit Tracks is a little annoying because you have to use the pan flute, so you have to blow into the microphone and that I don't love. It would be cool if we got some sort of remake so they weren't stuck to the DS, but I also don't know how they would do that. So I don't know, but if you haven't played these games, they're quite good. Now we're down to our last segment. Let's start with first edition gold cartridge. Again, the gold cartridge is in- Oh my God, I have this in gray too! Wait! This is first edition, which means that it has the, the chanting and the, the block and the blood and all the things that they were like, oh, we shouldn't have done that. And then they swiftly changed it. Pretty sure this one doesn't have that. I should compare. I forgot I had this. Again, this was given to me. I did just buy this at, again, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. You really should go watch that video. This is good. Friends are there, you know. I just need the cardboard to house this. I would like to get the cardboard for this one just because I think it would be nice. I am currently playing this on Twitch. If you don't follow me on Twitch, you should. We have fun there. Go with Ocarina. We of course have Ocarina of Time 3D. This game, I actually purchased before I had a 3DS. I bought it the day it came out because I was so determined to help the numbers of sales. I was like, I don't care that I don't have a 3DS yet. I will get one. They're expensive. This is cheaper. I can just, I'll just sit and look at it and it's pretty. And then when I got the 3DS, I was very excited to play it. I actually cried. 
Now we have these bad boys. This is the Ocarina of Time 2 game bonus disc that has Master Quest. This is the first way you could ever play Master Quest. And it says not for resale on it all over the place. I got this when I worked at GameStop. It has all sorts of demos in it, including the Wind Waker. And then there's the Four Swords. I hate it has Metroid Prime, that's so cool. Complete, got the books and all the fun stuff. Awesome, awesome. Then we have this one, which was a promotional disc that I think, if I'm remembering right, came with a GameCube. I could be mistaken. It doesn't matter. Got this second hand at my GameStop once again. Has all of these babies in here, which is why I waited till I'll show you now, because it has Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and then Ocarina and Majora's Mask, and a demo, which is cool. And then finally, Majora's Mask because why not wait till the end to show off the thing that I'm repping the most? <laughs> is this my favorite game? No, but it is also kind of, that makes no sense. The lore of this game, the look of this game, the music of this game, all, everything about this game except for the fucking clock. That damn timer means that I have not personally beaten this one. I know, I'm gonna hear it in the comments. I'm sure I'm gonna hear it in the comments. I don't care. I don't need to physically beat the game in order to feel satisfied that I've beaten the game. It doesn't, it, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but like, I don't need, I don't need to physically have to, the timer freaks me out. I've had many friends try and help me get through the timer. It's not that I don't know how to beat the game. It's just the timer freaks me out and if I could get rid of it, I would do that. That's my rant on Majora's Mask, though. If you want a great album to accompany your Majora's Masking around, definitely highly recommend this, Time's End. Oh my god, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Look at how cool that is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I listen to this thing on loop. I guess we're doing bonus content. Are you, are you guys down for some bonus content as well? Cool. Cool. We have the Twilight Princess soundtrack original soundtrack. This box is beautiful. You can't see it on camera, but it has like a slight glittery rainbow to it. It's so nice. So nice. This thing is a beast. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's the Breath of the Wild soundtrack and it's not just the soundtrack. <laughs> space. This thing is so freaking cool. Okay. It's the field music collection. Ta-da. It's this little MP3 pin. It's called a play button, and you see how it has the, the buttons on it? So it only has the, the field music songs from like the various games, and it came with a little charger, and it's so cute. I've used it like once, because like, I don't, I don't, you don't really need it, but like, I love it. I love that it says since 1986, because I too am since 1986. I don't know a world without Zelda, which makes my life happy. Here's the, the collection. There's discs underneath discs. And then it has these plastic things. Why, 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 why is this always the type of thing that comes with these things? I don't understand it. And then the book with Cass's freaking accordion on it. It's beautiful, beautiful. Well, let's just, just keep piling on music, huh? We have the Ocarina of Time 3D soundtrack, which is cool. I, all of this stuff is cool. How many times have I said that? The Twilight Princess HD soundtrack. And then another Twilight Princess soundtrack. Why do I have it so many times? I don't know. I just do. I don't know. It's not a problem. It's not. It's not. I have Zelda ornaments on my tree. I have a Hyrule crest down there, which looks beautiful with the tree. I got all those bad boys over there. This is now just a tour of Monica's collection, but I can't show you all the things because I can't, unless I record with my phone. I'm gonna record with my phone. All right, I'll do that. All right, let's start our collection off by the puppets. Those are Wind Waker, Link, and Zelda puppets. I used to use those on stream. We have some Amiibos, the Skyward Sword, Joy-Cons, the Collector's Edition boxes, the cartoon. You can't really see it back there, but that box is the Majora's Mask one that I'm using to prop up my jester. We can come over here. Hey. Uh, we have... Get out of the way a little bit. We have some of my statues and things, the Game & Watch that's never been open, which is really cool. There's the light, there's another light that Alexa gave me. My cursed mask that I love. It's very cursed though, it, it does what it wants at all times. Then up here, we have some more of my collectible statues, some amiibos, we have the boat. We got more stuff, a lot of this stuff I made. 
like the Phantom Ganon painting, Teresa, the Korok. Ooh, that's out of thrifted materials. I made the Deku Baba and the Skultula. My poor, poor dead hand who was crumbling because I used shitty clay. But yeah, still not all of my stuff. Oh, and then I have this. They have definitely fallen over. <laughs> they do that. Samus doesn't help with the fact that she knocks them over, but this is a Wind Waker slash Phantom Hourglass shelf that I made. The shelf was originally from Target. I painted the background and yeah, they fall over a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't have all of my things out. That's the other thing. I don't have space for a lot of stuff. So not all of this stuff. And don't even get me started on my t-shirt collection. Thank you so much for watching. I need to show you what my desk looks like now. <laughs> There's just games, games everywhere. Games everywhere. It's fine. It's great. If you like this kind of content, give it a like. This is kind of fun to make this stuff. I don't have too many collections that are like this that have this many games in them. <laughs> so, but I can show you, we could do tours of my system collections if you'd like. If you're interested, let me know. Put a comment suggesting what you would like to see. If you're new here and you like this chaos, consider subscribing. That will help the channel grow so I can make more stuff like this. Also, follow me on Twitch. My brain just stopped. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna, I gotta go and clean this up now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'll see you next time.